The time has come. The time is now. Let's get into this. <laughs> Okay, what we got here is the Admiral 12 inch dual bevel sliding compound miter saw. Uh, and here's all the measurements of horizontal cut capacity and then the nested crown molding, vertical base molding, and it shows it has a 15 amp motor. Uh, this is a Harbor Freight, it's kind of their midline. It's kind of like the uh, Chicago Electric with a few upgrades. So, and uh, but we're gonna open this up and uh, give a first impression. So here we go. So let's see what you get when you first open it up. Alright, this here looks like it is a blade that comes with it. This is, should be a 60 tooth blade. 60 tooth will give you a smooth cut. The higher the teeth count, the smoother the cut. So if you got a 24 tooth, it'll give you a very rough cut. So the blade here is what gives you your smooth cut. So it's pretty cool that they did include a 62 I've never used these admiral blades before but I'm gonna use the blade that it came with how good of a quality the blade is so there's that and let's see here looks like we got the dust collector we got the owner's manual with a set of bushings we got this here's like an adjustment wrench that they include with it and these here's some other little arms and uh, I think this here's something for the electrical cord to keep the electrical cord out of the way we'll see so pull this styrofoam out and there is the saw. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So I'm going to get this pulled out of the box. Stick with me and we're going to put this on the workbench and give it a quick look and a first impression. And then we'll move on to the stand. Well, here we go. It's all set up. One thing I like about this saw that really made me want to buy it is the fact that it's got this lever right here and this lever or lever 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 you can move this and it allows you to do your bevels which I found to be very very cool and you lock it in place it does seem to it won't move it does seem to lock in really really good and then you got this, of course, that you could turn that and then move for your angles. There's a little button underneath here that you would push right here also. But you can move it, get in a place, and then tighten it up, and it won't go nowhere. So this here feels to be pretty good. Uh, I haven't tried to put the blade in yet. I'm going uh, to uh, do that off camera. But want to give a quick first impressions of this. I guarantee you for what I will need this for, this will be perfect for me. I am totally happy with this I wouldn't hesitate to spend the money again for it it seems to be pretty solid well built it does have a 15 amp motor on it which should not 
give a problem as far as power goes to it but I really like it but we're gonna move on to the stand now so uh, that's the saw and we're gonna switch over to the stand okay I went with the Chicago electric heavy-duty model miter saw stand it will it shows it will hold up easily to 16 foot piece of lumber which is pretty cool and then it's got wheels and then it's supposed to be able to be collapsible portable make your saw portable which is a really cool option for me because there's going to be times I'm going to use this outside of the shop I'm going to take it with me here and there so it's going to make it easy to keep it portable so I'm pretty happy with that I'm going to get this out of the box and also give you my first impressions on this all right all right I don't know why I didn't think it is <laughs> oh my goodness it looks like there's some assembly required <laughs> I'm going to pull this out and see what we're working with this is one of the rollers and a thing you're supposed to be able to use as a stop arm here's the other roller I'm gonna put this on this side there's that right. so well it looks like it might be mostly together this is okay it looks like it's mostly together okay so it's not that bad I'm, I'm gonna probably assemble it off camera okay I got it mostly assembled and I did learn that that leg there it will adjust so you can make it a lot more solid which really works out good in this shop floor since I got so many little hips and valleys, this thing was able to get real solid adjusting that. But uh, I still got to use the bolts they gave me to mount the uh, saw to this. But I will get that done uh, off camera. And I'm also at the point where I'm going to have to wrap this up so I can go to work. Well, that's going to wrap this up. As always, I want to thank you so much for all your continuous support to my channel. I'm going to eventually get uh, that saw attached to its stand and find it its home in this workshop. But uh, I wanted to make sure I kept it portable because I'm going to need it in other places other than just here. So that's why I went with this portable model. And... Um, I'm very pleased with it. My very first impressions is it seems to be something that is going to work out for me. Oh, I got some white fuss. <laughs> I'm not editing that out. <laughs> so anyways, I digress. But I just want to thank you so much for all your continuous support and to my channel, to each other's channel, to each other. This is an awesome community. Stay awesome. Stay safe. Find your start and reach your goals. And I will see you in the next video. Motivation Fridays tomorrow.